Hey guys, welcome to one episode of Get to Know. I'm your host, Abner J. Valdez, a.k.a. Fela Fela. On today's episode, our guest definitely knows a thing or two about life and achievements. He's been featured on the LA Wire, WikiHow, Fox.com, and the U.S. Reporter. Let's get to know Majabara. Sit back and enjoy the show. I know you inspire others, so what inspired you to become a life coach? Hey, Abner. Uh, thank you for having me on the show, man. It's a privilege and an honor to be here. It's good to see you again. It's been a while, so this is good. Uh, in terms of what inspired me to be a life coach, so when I was younger, I actually didn't have the best of childhoods, and my parents left when I was really when I was 15 years old. And in that time, I developed a bunch of trust issues. I developed a lot of anxiety and just kind of resentment towards the world in general. And it was a very, very tough time. And I couldn't really overcome my feelings because I was never actually taught how to overcome them. So I took it out on people and I hurt a lot of people in the past and I wasn't proud of that. So as time progressed and I really got into self-growth and development, I saw an opportunity to heal myself but at the same time also heal others so they don't go through the same situation that i was going through and i see it a lot i see a lot of people kind of feeling uh expressing their pain from their past without recognizing it and when i saw that in other people i was like oh my god i'm not the only one that was projecting my insecurities and i felt like this was definitely in a sense my calling to really help people out of the suffering. I never want to see anybody go through pain. I never want to see anybody go through what I've went through. And I don't know, it just can't, It just kind of struck me as, this is something that I want to do. And it's funny because I never actually, this wasn't the life path in, uh, in the beginning. I never even thought of this being something until I was actually working with clients and realizing that I was actually making a difference in their life. And they were seeing significant results. And when that happened, it kind of struck me as, hey, maybe this is, maybe this is your thing. Maybe this is your calling. And yeah, man, the, the truth is I just don't like seeing people suffer and I just want to help as much as possible to take them out of that suffering. What specific areas do you focus on when helping people? So the specific area that I focus on with my coaching is relationships. Uh, and the reason why I focus on relationships is because I feel like relationships are so crucial in terms of your growth and just progression in life. The reason I say that is a major part of my life was kind of taken away because my parents left at a really young age. And with that, I developed abandonment issues. That abandonment issue actually stayed with me in my career, in my college life, in my personal life, in everything. And I saw the cycle keep going over and over and over again. And I realized that Relationships were so important for your growth and if something was stunted at a young age It was gonna affect you for the rest of your life So it was about getting rid of these inner internal traumas that you didn't know existed, but were actually very apparent in your life Which led me to kind of just work on relationships and I analyzed my own relationships and seeing how I did in the past and What I did wrong and how I could make it better So I learned from myself and then I taught it to others and learned from their experiences and then developed a core curriculum around how to develop healthy relationships. So all in all, uh, I'm a relationship coach, but now I'm becoming more of a relationship trauma coach and helping people overcome their traumas from their past so they can develop healthier, longer relationships. How long have you been coaching? So I've actually been coaching for six years I want to say in March. Yeah, six years, six year journey. It's definitely been a journey. Is there any area you don't focus on when helping someone? Or do you dig deep into someone's issues to give them a resolution? So for me, I really just focus on the internal trauma. I believe that if you can heal somebody's past, you can heal their future, no matter what. And a lot of the issues stem from little weeds that you don't pull out of your mind when you're younger or when they happen or occur. So for me, my main focus is get to the root cause. 
pull out that weed and then slowly but surely start to redevelop yourself into the individual you want to be. What do you love about coaching the most? My favorite thing about coaching is by far the testimonies. When you see your clients get these results and actually accomplish goals that they never thought were possible, oh my God, it is like a phenomenal feeling. Uh, one of my clients recently just got married and this is a person that never thought he would ever have a girlfriend. He never thought he would be in a relationship. And the fact that he was able to get married and a lot of it being because he was able to overcome his trauma from his past. Oh my God, that is, that's like worth gold to me. So I think I just, I love, I live for those messages. When they, when I get pictures, messages, videos of just how their life is completely transformed. Beautiful. Favorite part, without a doubt. What's next for you? So what's next for me? So I actually have a podcast that's being released in the next week. Well, by the time this is out, it'll be released, but it's called Becoming High Caliber, which is where I help individuals become the best versions of themselves so they can actually attract the people that they wanna be with or they actually want. And I also do have my book coming out, which is also Becoming High Caliber, the guide to attracting the man of your dreams, which is, it's for all my woman viewers. So right now I actually only do work with female clients. So uh, the book is basically revolved around kind of healing the traumas and allowing you to become the best version of yourself so you can attract the men that you actually want. So be on the lookout for those. The link should be hopefully in the in the bio somewhere i'll send it to you abner uh but yeah man that's really it any advice to give to a life coach uh this one is huge every client learns differently the most important thing you can do is learn how to teach in different styles. So you have your clients that are super eager and will get work done immediately. Then you'll have your clients that are more reserved and afraid to really take action. Then you have your clients in the middle that are kind of skeptical, not really, but they also want to get the results, but they're also not completely committed. So it's understanding which client is which and how to formulate a game plan for them to actually help them get the best possible results. I think that was one of the biggest things for me initially where I thought every client would follow one path, but I was sadly mistaken. And again, after six years of doing this, you start kind of getting a vibe and a sense of the individual that's in front of you and kind of how you can tailor a plan specifically for them and how you can kind of get the best results out of them. So really focus on your teaching styles and realizing that everybody learns differently. So kind of adapting to that. Hey man, thank you for having me. It, it was it was a lot of fun. It was always great talking to you, man. And I can't wait to see this be huge. So much love, appreciate you, thank you. Hey guys, if you made it this far into the video, is much appreciated. Don't forget to follow Ahmad on all social media platforms and also check out his newest podcast, Becoming High Caliber. You can find him on all social media platforms and you can also find his podcast on all podcast platforms. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys like, share, comment, and subscribe to the QMP Records channel because every subscription helps this channel grow. Thank you guys so much. And as always, sit back and enjoy the show, guys. Stay black.